Balloons will fill the sky near 33rd Nell Street tomorrow night. It's to mark the one year since a crash that killed Sarah Root. The man accused of smashing into her remains on the run, but tonight, as reporter Nick Starling explains, her family is focused on Sarah's legacy. Nick? From trying to get Sarah's law enacted to collecting signatures to kick out a judge, it's been quite a year in the fight for justice for 21-year-old Sarah Root. Today I spoke to her mom, who has not been silent since Sarah's death a year ago tomorrow. Got that silly picture. Reflecting on the final day she saw her daughter, Michelle Root smiles, proud of this new chapter in Sarah's life. Watching that big, beautiful smile on stage and accomplishing all she had done. But it's a chapter that ended abruptly. Police say 21-year-old Sarah Root was killed by a suspected drunk driver. 19-year-old Eswan Mejia speeding down 33rd and L Streets when he hit her car the night of her college graduation on January 31st, 2016. Of course, we didn't want to even think about this year getting here, but it has, so we're just going to honor her. While almost a year has passed, many things have not changed. Sarah's room remains mostly untouched. It's good because you feel her in there and you can smell her still. Smelling Sarah's pillow was something Michelle did all the time when Sarah would be away. That now has a different feeling to it. I just go in there and hug her pillow and smell it, but knowing she was coming back. And now it's just different. You go in there and you know she's never coming back to that room. While Sarah is no longer here, Michelle still feels her presence. The memory still comes and then I get past it, you know, and I know it's her putting it there so I won't be so sad. Many other things have changed. The proposed Sarah's law requiring immigration officials to detain undocumented immigrants suspected of killing someone. Michelle says President Trump used part of that in his recent executive order. Take a piece of Sarah's law, which was if you cause serious bodily injury or death, you get detained and deported. I want that still to be a law because, as we know, executive orders can be overridden. The balloon release takes place tomorrow night at 7 p.m. at 33rd and L Streets, where the crash that took Sarah Root's life happened. Reporting live in studio, Nick Starling, KMTV Action 3 News.